Hi guys, my name is Amada, I'm a computer engineering student in UK and today I'm going to resolve a common task proposed by software engineers with futures. So let's go start. This is a common coding task asked by recruiters to software engineering candidates. It says, given a sentence, task is to remove spaces from the sentence and rewrite in camel case. Of words. No matter whatever if they are in uppercase or lowercase words. The output should be a camel case sentence. So let's see some examples. So, so what you want to see here right now is the given code. The given code we can in, in the given code we can see four sections. First of all the import libraries. So that are just deliveries, what we are going to need to resolve the code. The class and the main method. The main method, it's a given method, the principal method of the code, which is which will allow us to have an input and an output, basically. And then the asked method. So the method called camel case, which has to return a string type data string so which has, this, uh, has to return a data of type string and it takes as argument another string called input string so first of all show declare a variable called result of type string which will uh, which will uh, which will stock the result of our method the return of our method. The first if statement is just says that if there is no input, please just return the result as void. So basically, if we don't have input, we don't have we don't have output. For the second one, the second line, so the second part of the code is to define the first character of the sentence. What what will be the behavior of that character so the first time if if the so basically we can declare a char type variable called first and we put in that variable the in the first character of the sentence and then another char variable called uh, another variable of type char called first lowercase and using the method to lowercase convert that first character into lowercase even if it's uppercase or lowercase the output for this first character has to be in lowercase then we add that character to the result string The next step, basically, what we have to do is just for each character of the of the given sentence, check first if it's uppercase or lowercase, and if there is any space, and basically, if there is any space, we have to remove the space and put the character together, and if the, the if is if, it, if the character is the first letter of a new word, it has to be in uppercase. It has to be converted into uppercase. If not, it has to be converted into lowercase. The way to do that is basically writing two variables. The first variable is called current. And the second variable is called previous. We define the current variable as the character at index e, and the previous at the, as the character at input e minus one. And basically, we say that if the previous character 
is in space, we do something. If it's a letter, we do something else. So in that case, the first case, if it's in a space, That means, so if the previous character is in a space, that means is the, that the current character is the first letter of a new word, so it has to be converted to human case. And we do that using the method to human case. And then we, we add, we just add the current character, the current uppercase to our result string. If not, so if previous character is not a space, that means it's a letter, what we have to do is just convert the, U, the, the convert the character into lowercase, and we can do that using the method called to lowercase. And again, we add the result, we add that character to the string result. And finally, we result. We can. And finally, we return the result as a string. And that's it. And we can run the code just to check if it is working properly, in the right way. And we can use the examples of before. So the first one, four words, house car, station, and library, enter, that's it, it works. For the second example, sentence, the Lord of the Rings, and again, it works. This is all for this video, I hope you liked it, please subscribe and comment and see you next video, bye!